Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Oh My God, your head's gone, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a jumbo jet on Grand Theft Auto Online in a public lobby, guys. So not an invite-only session, not a mission, but actually a public lobby for everyone in the lobby to see, for your friends to see, for everyone to see. It's really cool, definitely one of the coolest glitches I've seen in a while. So before I get into that, if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be great, and check out my 50,000 subscriber giveaway, there should be an annotation somewhere on the screen definitely check that out you guys can win a free game so anyway so what you want to do first is get a jumbo jet on a story mode character so here I am with Trevor at the airport it doesn't matter which character you use so you can use any character all that matters is that you get to the airport and then you get into one of the jumbo jets that you can actually fly so once you're in one of the jumbo jets you have to actually take off this is probably the hardest part of the entire glitch so once you take off and you're in the air I recommend you guys quick save really quickly just in case you crash or fail the landing that you're gonna have to do in a couple of seconds here so once you're quick saved what you want to do is put a GPS tracker down over at Trevor's airstrip that's where you're gonna be landing the jumbo jet and uh, and once you've done all that and you're quick saved and you're good to go just land it over at Trevor's airstrip all right so here I am right above Trevor's airstrip again I quick save one more time just in case I crash while trying to land if I do crash I can just load up the save game again I'll be right back here in the jumbo jet and it saves a lot of time and hassle so land the jumbo jet I actually managed to land it with no problem and once you land it what you want to do is get it positioned in a way that you're going to be able to take off with it again once you get it online so the first step here is to make sure you land it just right and then once you're landed uh, all you want to do is make sure you straighten it out again and get it in a position that you'll be able to take off with it really easily. Once you've got a position so you could take off again, save it one more time, and then once you've got that game file saved, you're ready to go switch to your online character and we're going to get into actually doing the glitch now. Once your online character is loaded up, bring him over to Trevor's airstrip and then position him right beside where you actually park the jumbo jet there. And then go to online, go to options and make sure your spawn location is set to last location so that's a pretty important step guys it has to be on last location and once you've done that switch back to any story mode character and what this essentially does is it saves your Grand Theft Auto 5 online characters position at Trevor's airport so once you've loaded up that story mode character again switch back to your online character and this is going to be where we do the next step to the glitch all right guys so this next part is a little bit tricky but I actually did manage to get a first try so my online character loads up I'm at Trevor's airstrip which is exactly where I want it to be what I want to do next is press start go to the Xbox or PlayStation game store and then click enter and then as soon as you do that press the Xbox button or the PS3 middle button and sign out of your account and the key to that is timing you want to sign out at just the right time right before the online store actually opens up so if you don't get it right the first time and uh, and the jumbo jet doesn't appear after this next step then just go back to this step and uh, and actually just try that again get the timing right and eventually it should work for you so what's happening now is it's going to load up the story mode prologue so once that is actually loaded up and you see that cutscene begin what you want to do is sign back into your Xbox Live account or play PlayStation 3 account and then you want to go to your saved file your story mode saved file where you were in the jumbo jet at Trevor's airstrip so once you're loading up that story mode saved file you're just about done guys wait for it to load up and as soon as it does you can actually switch to your online character you can go to an invite only session or a public session but I actually do go to a public session just to prove that this works in a public lobby you don't have to go to an invite only session and here I am spawning in at first I didn't actually see the jumbo jet so I thought I had messed up the glitch but there it was guys you can see all the other people in this session online this is definitely online and here is my jumbo jet so I take off with it and uh, and I go around flying with it I can't imagine what other people are thinking when they see this massive jumbo jet flying around the sky online uh, definitely the coolest glitch I've seen in a while like I said at the beginning of the video so I think you guys can have a lot of fun with this a lot of fun trolling your friends with it or doing whatever you want with it what I decided to do is I tried to crash it at the city the center Los Santos customs in the middle of the city literally landed perfectly with it somehow didn't die after bailing it out and I just figured that anybody that comes to Los Santos customs is going to see this gigantic jumbo jet blown up 
you know, right in front of it and be thinking, what the fuck happened here? Uh, so just a pretty crazy glitch. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, don't forget to leave a like. Check out my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. It's still going on for the next week, so you guys can all enter it and get your chance at winning any game of your choice. So check that out. There should be an annotation somewhere on the screen. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribing would be awesome. And if you guys have any insane Grand Theft Auto 5 clips that you potentially want included in my brand new, most amazing Grand Theft Auto 5 clip series i'm going to be doing a top five series with the craziest clips that i get uh you can always submit them to the email that should be on the screen right now heads gone top five at hotmail.com but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video again have a great day peace out you guys are the best keep it real i don't even know why i'm still talking later